Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm gonna be talking about three things that I'm so glad that I worked on and reflected on during my time as a single person because it's helped me to have a much more healthy and loving relationship today. I'm obviously not perfect at any of these, but I think I've gotten enough practice where I'm seeing positive results in my relationship. And so without further ado, let's get into the video. First thing that I'm super glad that I worked on and did is take ownership of the mistakes that I made in my past relationships instead of focusing the blame on my previous partners. Blaming our previous partner only does three negative things. The first one is it prevents us from truly moving on from our past relationships because we're so like caught up in just like the emotions and anger and resentment. The second thing is that it prevents us from learning and growing from our past mistakes so that we can be better partners in our next relationships. The third thing is that choosing to blame your previous partners gets us into the practice of self-righteousness instead of practicing becoming a more teachable, curious, and emotionally safe person during conflicts with our future partners. So I know it's really tempting that you want to hold on to your ex's wrongdoings, but you're only holding yourself back and keeping yourself from growing, healing, and also most importantly, keeping yourself from controlling the only person that you can control, which is yourself. The second thing that I'm super glad that I practiced while I was single is to be faithful in the little things and put weight into my words. Whether it was a simple, hey, we should grab lunch sometimes, or I will do the dishes today, or just simply not being late to meetings, these little promises that I made and whether I kept those promises or not, I believe said a lot about my character. If you're someone that just says things without much follow through, people will unconsciously start to think of you as a less reliable and less trustworthy person. And especially when you're in a relationship, it's often those like little promises that add up, which causes your partner to not trust you as much and also build resentment towards you. I'm definitely not saying Peter and I keep all of our promises that we make to each other. We're not perfect, we're very imperfect people, but we've kept enough of these small promises that we have the margin now to give each other the benefit of the doubt when someone does not follow through on a little promise. The third thing I'm super glad that I worked on is I surrounded myself with friends that told me the truth and not just what I wanted to hear. The friends that tell you the truth will help you navigate your future romantic relationships more soberly and wisely and more lovingly instead of going straight to bashing on your partner. Good friends try their best to understand your side, but can also help you understand where your partner may be coming from as well, especially if your partner is a pretty like healthy person. Obviously, if they are clearly in the wrong and like hurting you, abusing you, true friends will be able to call that out too and even encourage you to leave the relationship in a loving way, right? But these truthful friends will, you know, not only help you out in the future, but right now get you into the practice of hearing feedback and grow you into a safer person so that your future partner could be more, feel more safe in being vulnerable with you and confronting you and giving you feedback and working through conflict with you. So anyways, those are the three things that I'm super glad that I practice. I hope they will be helpful to you guys in some way. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.